Hey guys, we're gonna do a little fun outing today. I'm here at Mars County Farms. I'm gonna pick up some fresh greens. Um, I do have some at the house, but there's some that I know I don't have that I wanna pick up here. Plus, I'm gonna bring you inside the Christmas house, which is like the coolest place ever. I know you're gonna love it. So one of the things I look for when I'm uh, cutting or purchasing winter greens for my containers uh, is I like to look for greens that have a lot of different colors and textures. So junipers, boxwoods, like variegated boxwoods, cedar branches, because you can use them to drape over the edges of the container, the soft white pine, and then just like your average, you know, evergreen cuttings. You can arrange them in a bunch of different ways. I'll show you how I, how I make them, but today we're just kind of picking up ones that I know I don't have on the property. I do have holly, I've got some andromeda, uh, I've got boxwoods, I've got a couple other goodies and some other types of greens, but there's other ones that I know that I don't have, so I'm picking some up today. General rule of thumb for me is I like to do at least one bunch per container. Um, I always wind up wanting more, so sometimes I grab three for just that very reason. Okay, so I've got a bunch of these greens back at the house, so I don't need anything like this. I'm looking for juniper, cedar branch, and some white pine. All right, these are perfect. I love how they drape over the edges of a container. And so I'm going to grab a couple bunches of these. I'm also going to grab some, um, some pine and uh, some other little goodies. So I'm looking around because uh, I don't see any boxwoods. Maybe they just don't have them yet. I love the variegated boxwoods. I love juniper. Uh, I don't see them here. Maybe they have them at a couple other places. Uh, I can cut some from my yard. I've got holly and a couple of other good uh, evergreens. I can cut some roadies, some magnolias and stuff like that. But I was just kind of hoping to find a few here while I was here. I'll just get what I can. Let's head into the Christmas house. Guys, this is the Christmas house. It is the best. You can find the best stuff here. Lots of great faux stuff. Let me show you. So this is where I bought those real touch peonies on my dining room table. I mean, real touch poinsettias on my dining room table. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that amaryllis. They decorate the trees here with like a garden vibe. It's so, so pretty. I'm often asked where I get my oversized pine cones. This is where I get them. Aren't they awesome? Perfect for a container or hanging on a banister or putting on a mantle. They're amazing. One of the things that I love about coming here is just getting ideas, walking around. They decorate it so beautifully. And they're so, I mean, I always walk out of here with a bunch of stuff, but like, you see what I mean? It's incredible. I am looking for like a red, almost translucent ribbon. I wanna hang it on my uh, swing outside. It doesn't have to be like translucent, but I just thought it would kind of, maybe even be a little iridescent so it picks up the twinkle of the lights. I mean, I could do something like this, but I uh, wasn't really looking for something that sheer. This is almost like a little too thick. I love this basket, isn't it gorgeous? Like you could just fill it with all kinds of greens and um, some pretty winter florals would be so pretty. So I'm doing some more neutrals, golds and greens this year. So this is my jam. And I am just looking for some items that I can mix in to get a pretty neutral vibe. But I am looking to grab some extras of stuff that I found that I wanted more of, like these little gold whorls. Aren't they so cool? I stuck them in the tree, I put them in my garland, I put them in my centerpiece. They're really inexpensive and add a lot of texture and whimsy to my Christmas decor. I also grabbed some of these balls and they look really good in the tree. I'm gonna grab a few more because I kind of wish I bought a little more than I did. 
you know what, instead of leaving two in the box, I'm just gonna get them because I'm gonna put them in my stair garland and other arrangements. They're perfect for the front entry hall, my dining room. And I was looking for these. They had them in a gold, but I think they're sold out. So I may get these in the darker and just mix them in with the ones I have and kind of make it all work. So I'm buying a few of these. They're perfect because I'm, I'm kind of gonna group them together and make like bunches of little balls, if, if you will. Uh, it's gonna look really cool. I started doing them on the tree, love how it looks. So luckily they have more, so I'm snagging a few. You can get really cool faux garlands here. I mean, the options are just endless. I love coming into this place. I mean, look at all the pretty berries. I need to get some more white ones, so let's grab a few. I kind of love the like vintage looking ones versus the stark white ones. So I'm gonna grab a few of these branches. They have one left of these. I'm totally grabbing it. I grabbed a few and I love how they look on the tree, so I'm getting it. And that's it, you guys. Isn't this place great? I love coming here, get the best inspiration. They've got a lot of cool plants. And I mean, this is just a great year round place to go, but I really love the Christmas house. We got our greens. I'm gonna head home, start decorating. Thanks so much for shopping with me today. I'll see you in the next one.